I have grasped the power of these powerful languages of the spiritual realm that have changed me. They have turned me from the inverted ways of this upside down world so that I would no longer gnash my teeth due to the bitterness of this reality. I am no longer filthy and torn between two visions of duality as I have matured from once being spiritually poor and destitute as a child now leading myself instead of following the ways of this inverted world. It was revealed to me how to completely change and become part of the family of God, yoking and taming me through teachings so that I can carry the thousandfold Christ anointing. I was openly given this vision of becoming through the teacher of light, the shepherd that carries the staff of authority that was used to goad and urge me on this spiritual path. This vision was powerful as it gave me the means as well as the direction of how to enter through the door of my inner self. This revealed to me the deep well that is within and how to deliver myself from my base nature that was keeping me very poor, lean and spiritually weak. Through teachings that I found within these languages of light, I became marked with a different frequency, a double piercing that humbled me as I became a meek standing one, which is the true power of creation now under control. Now I can connect to others in more intimate ways as I have bent myself to the Father's will, ready for the responsibility of coupling so that I can be the wife as intimacy is reserved from this place of honor and recognition. This place of intimacy surrounds me completely as it protects and supports me like a shield of thorns as I have my wedding bands. This place it was once hidden from me, but now has been revealed so that I can compress light in the circle of time which has separated me from the rest who are in this inverted realm. My journey started when I questioned who is likened then to the wife and the bride. So I asked the basic questions on how, what, why, and when. And then I found the languages that revealed that the bride and wife hold out their hands so that they can receive and grasp a hold of these revelations from the spiritual teachers, the spirit of mother and father that were divided into two, one who awakens and the other that reveals. These teachings are important and they're meant to humble me, to allow me to connect to others spiritually and physically if and when I choose to do so. So I chose to become the bride and the wife and bind myself firmly to these covenants of promise so that I could be made well-rounded. This is what I've always dreamed of that was now made real. This choice set me apart from those who are on the outside of the covenant so that I could make myself ready to become the bride and wife. This was also preparing me to become a teacher of light also goading and urging others on, teaching the way of mother and father spirit, the two that are one, as I was being filled. This fullness came about through the twin teachings, through the spirit that empowered me. I was shown the way through the door of my heart, my inward most part that revealed what I lacked. I had to realize that I was poor and weak and spiritually needy which was very humbling. But then I found everything I needed through this measuring process, the height, depth, the breadth and width of completing this building process. Because this is what I would judge in my, and measure myself by to determine where I was lacking so that I could become the bride and wife. No one else was to measure me as I was the only one that could do it. And this is all done inwardly anyway, as I found that this is the place 
where all of my questions are answered. I found that I am the gatekeeper to my emotions and what I think about. And I will set up boundaries and limits as I know that they come with a price. It is up to me to inspect and consider measuring the implications of what I feel, whether it's rage or things that horrify me or make me tremble and shudder, or even if it is something I am that I am feeling compassionate towards. I need to consider whether I need help with what I'm looking at to de determine whether I should be a porter and carry this baggage around with me or become a janitor that will know what to clean up and clear out. I also need to consider whether or not to help those whom I feel compassion for. My emotions are a gateway and I need to be my own gatekeeper so that I can contemplate whether they are splitting me or opening me up and then figure out the cost of these emotions as I am the one to establish this as I begin to consider what they're doing to me. My emotions can be an enemy and foe, but they can also be very useful to wake me up. It is also possible that they can consume me if I choose to see them through the material world in a lesser state through the beast mindset or choose to have them spiritually grow me up so that I can become an heir as royalty. I know that they are only temporary, lasting only for a short while, just a moment. This knowing of the purpose of my emotions, I can see that they are meant to expand me instead of keeping me in a restricted and lesser state. I need to be compassionate towards myself when I experience emotions, when I find myself in amazement or bewilderment as I, I know that in time they are just a moment passing. When I stop to identify with my emotions, whether I will allow them to consume me or I will consume them, it gives me that ability to see their purpose as a refining fire so that I can raise myself up and out of being one that has no skill processing them to one who will rise up and be in charge of them, recognizing that they are catalysts in learning to be a master over them. My own sovereign being no longer ruled by them, but as one who rules over them in my own domain. Through the spirit, I will build my temple from the inside out through the process of covenant, making a compact with myself. In this process, I need to stop periodically and ask myself if, if what I am doing is a vanity, as vanity will lead to my destruction and ruin, as it has the potential to consume me. Is this of the beast ego or not? I must consume this nature so that I can turn and connect back to the family of one on my spiritual path found within the material world of flesh. I will have to continue to wrestle this in what I do in my daily activities so that within me, I will produce the nature of sovereignty. I have found my way through the sacred languages that speak of things that are not of this material world and its base elements, but rather what is being truly revealed that the world of chaos and separation is vain in nature. And in reality, I am one with everyone and everything. This thought alone refreshes me as I feel the spirit breathing this truth within. I will continue to consume these words, this language of revealing, which gives me the power and, and means and direction to deal with my fallen flesh nature. As I have recognized that this is a blessing, a gift of God so that I can erect the four walls needed to build my temple. I have connected to Father's teaching and meekness so that my temple can be filled with all that I have dreamed of, aspired and hoped to become as one who is set apart and set above for a purpose of obtaining the right hand of power as one who will give and not take. I have been breathed upon by the spirit who's refreshed me now as a living being that feels emotions from the place of the heart. It is through my 
personal desires and passions, my spiritual appetites that I will continue to build my vessel, my temple, as one who will walk in meekness, having my own power under control, no longer doing things in vain, but rather experiencing the intimacy found within my connection to Father, as I am no longer a beast. I have securely determined for myself that I will receive the power that I found as a treasured possession within the ancient languages that bring forth revelation on how to become part of the family of God, a family who has been taught teaching that which yoked and tamed them as they carry the thousandfold Christ anointing. I held out my hands, cupped to receive and grasp a hold of this revelatory message so that it could germinate within me, creating strong legs that support my stand as I had once fallen. I started through the milk of the word, which began my ascension process as I offered that which needed to be burned up on the altar of my heart as a living sacrifice. I am unique and a treasure, and I now bear fruit from the vine that sustains me. It is through my wedding covenant that I found strength as I was supported through this transformative journey. Not only do I have a shield that surrounds me, I have an inward protection as well to keep me safe so that if I falter, I will be pierced so that I can self-correct. Or if anyone tries to bring me harm, they will get pierced so that they can self-correct. Through these words, the languages of revelation, I have become the upright who speaks honestly, brings forth truth, revealing that which is truly genuine and can be trusted. From their transformative power, I am firmly established and stable, one who has prepared, standing upright as a just one that stored up treasure and wealth within my pierced heart, ascending the heights found within. Alas, I will be revealed as one who is connected to the family of God, standing in humility and meekness as united and unified, expanded and transformed. This spiritual food that I have chosen to eat has satisfied me and made me whole. It's delivered me from all vanity as I bent and subdued my will so that my beast nature became tamed enough for the yoke. I have grasped these languages so that I can enter the rest of mother having been fed by the teaching shepherd of light. I chose this yoke of the sacred languages, having been seized as one who is treasured, connected and pierced through the heart, teaching me the way of one. I will work until I make myself complete, ready for use, living that which I have always dreamed of, fully filled yet completely humbled, now having my power under control. Wrestling in the mire, in the basket of the world, there is a measurement through breadth of living. The sacred languages, it, they empty me of all vanity and of all that would be destructive tempests in my life until I empty self, revealing that there is only oneness. I will not be ruined or beguiled as this process has taught me humility. I have chosen to join mother's process of becoming. It has been in this set apart place where I am learning the teachings that create the oneness within me as I tame and yoke my beast nature for the fullness of manifesting the Christ's thousandfold anointing measure. It is through the fires of purification, the sacred teachings through these languages that provide me the power, means, and direction to lift me out of my beast nature so I will rise and shine brightly as a tendril of the vine. I was whistled for and I chose to respond through my heart that was pierced, connecting to Source, my Creator. As previously poor and destitute in spirit, I was raised up to be a leader, a first fruit, a sovereign over my own domain as I compressed light within my sacred space, 
rightly dividing and reconciling the dark and light, good and evil through the circle of time. I assimilated and absorbed the knowledge that was given to me, once hidden but now revealed as my foundation was set through the posture of humility, readying myself for the teaching shepherd to come. This spirit refreshed me as it was revealed to me all that would constitute my stand. And in feasting and drinking this revelation, I have used this to weave the height and depth as mother taught me in order to measure breadth and width of my set apart wedding garments meant for the feast day of revealing. Marked with the sign of the covenant as one who is exempt from judgment, having become the frequency manifested through these teachings, oil was produced as I distilled and purified this within me through the pressure exerted and the heat from these teachings designed to fashion me as a living stone, one who is sharp and comes to a point. This was the narrow path which led to the balm that healed me. It seemed to confine me at times, cramping my movements, but it was formative in its process. Mother was my adversary every time I would do something not becoming, and anything that was opposite to humility, assisting me to delineate between what is and what is not becoming. Through her teaching, his teaching was revealed to me so that in the end, I will be revealed as one who carries the thousandfold Christ anointing and is now recognized and is associated to the family of God as I and my Father are one. The promise held within the vision was given to me by the Spirit of Mother and was intended to call and appoint me if I received it and answered the call. She speaks this over me to tell me about the intention of the power that is given to me if I choose to enter the inward door that will reveal to me what I need to deliver myself of the beast ego nature. This nature that I shall deliver myself from has caused me to be spiritually weak, impoverished, as poor in spirit. The promise is that I shall enter the place of rest for myself through the living water teachings of mother and father the spiritual path I must journey upon that will set me apart from those who are outside of this covenant. This is what has been intended for me, that I would be marked with a different frequency, a sign that I am exempt from judgment as I have become the intention of the vision of one who serves and gives. Mother has only been bitter to me, opposing me when I would do anything that was not becoming especially when I act boastful or proud as these things are of the beast nature and they don't fit with the vision she has given me. It has been her job to stand in the way if anything I did was contrary to the promise in order to protect me as well as others. She knows that pride doesn't lead well and will only keep me in the waters of chaos instead of entering into the peaceful waters as well as it bringing chaos to others who I surround myself with. As I walk and take the spiritual journey, it has been revealed to me as I go along as a wayfarer, a nomad seeking that which will pierce my heart, what I needed to connect me with the source and creator. I seek that place that flows with honey, but it has cost me much along the way. Until I become, I will continue on this journey to ascend upward to higher places where I know and I see my teaching shepherd of light who brought me life by raising me up so that I could compress the light within in order to find that middle path between the light and dark. These hidden teachings brought me power, uh, means and a direction so that I could connect with my higher self so that I then could find the rest that my soul desires. I shall be made to glisten as the fair and goodly when my veil is removed to show that I have been made beautiful, bright and cheerful, pleasing as one who has merited well while I was stationed on the mountain in the wilderness. It was through the consuming fires 
This made me shine as the vision given was placed within, giving me the power to overcome my fallen flesh nature so that in the end, it would be completely removed. The sacred languages of the family of God, the family of one, raised me up from being poor and destitute so that I am my own sovereign over myself, established as a first fruit who leads and does not follow, having produced fruit. I speak and I scatter my fruit through the words that were given in the beginning as the cutting edge of all that will cut through, piercing with a clarion call. Through the power of the Spirit, I have seen that we are all one. I have been taught, and so I choose to teach as one of the light, a shepherd that leads from behind. I have been yoked and tamed by the languages of light that reveal the vision of man and the vision of God to be one that had been separated but are now joined. This place has set me apart from those who are on the outside of this revelation as I pursued this path that in the end, I've been made exempt from judgment as I have rendered all as one. Through the spirit, I was filled with power. This was something that I'd always dreamed of, even having prophetic dreams that would lead me to the teacher of light, the shepherd who showed me through the waters of chaos and brought me into the calm waters of deliverance. I have grown up in stages of maturity as consecrated, and I was able to replenish all that I needed so that I could accomplish the vision given through the gathering of the pieces found within the sacred letters of light. This I have accomplished, and I overflow as one who now has and is full of authority over myself filled as a child of God that has worth a sovereign and a first fruit within my own domain as expanded within, plump is no longer impoverished. These living water teachings of mother and father have made me fluid as I was opened, no longer closed to the spring of life. These languages of revelation marked me with a different frequency as one who is of the covenant setting me apart from the chaos of the lower world. My fetters were loosened as a gate had been opened to me to set me free from that which firmly bound me into the lower world to the waters of chaos, the veil of forgetting. As I traveled through the bitterness of this world, especially when I was spiritually poor and destitute, I have grown up to become as a burning one having fire upon my head a leader who chose to burn up all that was within me that was not becoming, attached to the beast nature, my fallen flesh. Now, as one who is over, no longer under myself, leading and no longer following. As a teaching shepherd, I have been a nomad, a traveler who has been on a journey with my staff of authority in my hand, which has provided me with support and protection. This is the mode of life I have chosen for myself, as I will live and die as a wayfarer, looking for that place that flows with honey. It has cost me much along the way, but it has afforded me to collect what I needed to press me tightly together. I have had to live frugally along the way, but that has also afforded me rest from the vanity of the world that leads to ruin, as in the end, Vanity is nothing more than a falsehood of emptiness. I have come to the place of rest in my journey, as the way was shown to me through the Aleph and the Ta, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. I have become a strong leader of the covenant, and one who has been taught, yoked and tamed, finding the weight of one. I have connected heaven and earth through my pierced heart as one with source, which is the thousandfold anointing of those who are associated to the family of God. Now married in the spirit, fruit is manifested in my life as I have been hedged in, supported and lifted up, and I will be gathered as I have been made full of the fruit of the vine, my dreams fulfilled as I chose to walk to the water 
that was given through my teaching shepherd. I was shown the door to my inner man where I delivered myself from that which made me weak, feeble, and poor, the beast ego. I am now rich. The covenant which marked me with a frequency not of this world, the twin teachings of mother and father, where I am now exempt from judgment, truly free, has shown me all that was a vanity, as the material world journey would consume me in a fallen flesh state, as a life that does not have worth. But I was given a vision, a seed, that began to germinate within. I placed it within my heart. This is the spiritual path which I chose to accept and do that began a new life within me, producing what was necessary to become an heir, royalty within, as I opened myself fully to the languages of light. I became set apart from the outside world, distancing myself from the emptiness that vanity produces. All of these choices have changed me, marked me, as I no longer judge myself or others. I am free, as I have become one, sealed in the power of mother and father, one as they are one. This is my fruit. The anointing has come. I am no longer of this world, and in that I can truly rest. The power of this material world through the fallen languages of man is worthless. They are not of the truth and they are full of lies and desolation. They are empty and will bring about contention with the true languages of revelation of light. I choose to grasp and firmly hold on to the languages of revelation that in the end will uncover in its rising that which is hollow, shallow, and worthless versus the true power that transforms lives. In their contention, those who hold on to the lesser language will be devastated, as it will be revealed that there is no power within them, that it was a falsehood. I have authority on the inside, as my consciousness is the seat of my thought and my emotions, my true mind now having wisdom and understanding. Mother's teaching is what I think and I reflect upon as I incline to connect to her knowledge, resolving myself to walk in humility. In my soul, my conscience has determined that this is the moral character that I will live by. Before I divorced myself from my possessions, the world bruised me, seeing me as the lower class. I felt weak and helpless as I walked away from the world exhausted from my labor that was nothing but vanity was consuming me. But mother led me to green pastures where I produced fruit in my life, although I am seen as an outcast. She connected me to the teaching shepherd of life, who was able to reach and teach me in this place, to raise me from being poor and destitute into a first fruit leader, a sovereign over my own domain. In the revolution of time, the living water teachings brought by the shepherd the staff of authority I was goaded by and urged on to compress light within. These teachings were revealed, as they had once been hidden to me when I was in the world of materialism. It dawned in my life so that I could walk between both light and dark, reconciling duality, which is the narrow path that revived, refreshed, and restored me to the living. Now I am the staff, as I choose to build my temple through covenant, that was presented to me, marking me exempt from judgment as I have become built, as a house of light and darkness, in balance and harmony, squared away as a gem from above. As being pierced through, I have intimacy and closeness to the family of God, having been made as one, no longer exhausted emotionally in the world. I have chosen to serve, laying my life before the Creator giving all that I have to build humanity up as a gift from God through my spiritual practices, as I no longer contribute through my flesh, but through my spirit only, as I am not of this material world. Walking through the door to my inner self, the sting of revelation, of the depth of which I was being controlled and manipulated in my emotions, 
through my beast ego nature, it stung. I was able to lift myself up from this feeble state. This I needed to know so that I could deliver myself from this lesser state of being, now standing in the authority as I have mastered self through the Father's teaching. I am secured in this place through meekness, my own power of my emotions under control in my true mind, my soul. This is my inner authority as a standing sovereign of the Father, manifested as one of his children who are of wisdom and have discernment. I am Melchizedek, a king who is a queen of right standing, filled up, set above and set apart, having all of my spiritual dreams come true. I realized that to spiritually build myself, I needed to be pierced within and I knew it would sting, but it would also open me up so that the languages of revelation, these twin teachings of 22 letters would change my frequency signature, marking me as exempt from judgment, as one who is set apart from those who are outside of the covenant this covenant, the promise of becoming. This is so that I can teach my heart, the place of my soul and spirit. The teaching shepherd of Dove Light will help me, assisting me and urging me to continue this process through the living waters so that I can step out of the chaos into the safe harbor where I will be enclosed in the still waters of peace. This I will find revealed to me as I enter into the door of my heart, that place that is deep within, a well of revelation, so that I will deliver myself from this lesser construct of chaos, this beast ego. When I am anxious and I have fear, which is chaos, I need to go within to the place that will reveal to me that it is just the beast ego that causes me to fear affecting my mind, my emotions, and even my will. This separates me from the inside out, from who I am. And over time, it will wear me out and totally consume me. And then I will only see this life as a failure. If I do not become as a master of this, then I will be so afraid that everything will make me tremble and I will do anything to hasten this anxiety, even if it leads to my ruin. But if I learn from myself, from inside, as it teaches me and is the place of the shepherd, if I take what is being revealed to me from this fear, I can then see it for what it is. And it gives me the opportunity to do something about it, teaching me how to deal with my fallen flesh nature, to lift it in the end as I choose to be the master over this domain, no longer submitting and giving way to it. This inward vision is that of the sacred marriage, where I have been joined together within, no longer separated and no longer having to follow. Through my spirit, I was breathed upon, which drew me near to the languages of revelation. And through the circle of time, I have compressed light within me having found that narrow path between in the system of duality, now fully surrounded and protected, hedged in and supported neither of the light nor of the dark, but as perfectly in the middle as veering to the right or left, I will be pierced either way. If I stay with the lesser language of this material world, I will never ascend out of it as it is only the spiritual languages that will bring the revelation that we are all one. The lesser world net language will never truly yoke and tame my beast nature. It will not teach me what I need to learn so that I can be associated as one with the family of God, as God, a strong leader teaching shepherd of the sacred languages of becoming that reveals the thousandfold Christ anointing, the Christ consciousness.
The people of this material world choose to huddle together in their darkness as they are without light. They gnash their teeth in their darkness as the things that would bring them life have been concealed from them as they have been overshadowed by the veil of forgetting and have chosen the path of materialism. Once they begin to see, it will be just like an animal being cut into and all they will be able to do is make gnashing sounds. When they see how to raise their beast flesh out of their animalistic side, many will choose not to, as they have chosen to be filled with the darkness of this fallen world, joining to it, holding on to the lesser power in the material world with both of their hands, clenching their fists and grinding their teeth. They will see that which they gathered in filth, filling them with nothing, but it will only grate on them as they will choose to spit onto that which is meant to bring them life, to raise them out of their beast nature into something higher. They are thin-skinned and are very shallow, choosing the swamps and the mire over that which would bring them life. They are caught between two visions within their head as they are dual-minded. Their poor decisions leave them spiritually destitute as children, never raising them up but leaving them as a beast. Anything that would lead them to their heart, their inner man, will be something that they spit upon, finding no use for it, but will react to it like an animal that has been wounded. They will choose to huddle together in their darkness. The mire of this filthy world never satisfied, but are yet set to expire. They want the highest positions, seeking power as they are full of pride. Their desire is to lead and control the beast system of duality, concealed in the shadows of this world, ruling over the multitude of those who are of the masses of the people who want to be ruled over. But they will come to nothing as they gnash their way to the top, cutting everyone that they can out of their power positions. They will want nothing to do with us who are set apart, as they want to remain outside of the covenant. They do not seek life, only to partake and lead the dead, those who sleep. The living water teachings would pierce them, but they will only respond with the sound of gnashing teeth and will want to take a bite out of you. The door to their inner man is a searing fire to them. It burns them and they try to hide from it. They will not gather at the waters as they do not want to be lifted up, but to stay in their pride. They choose only to compress darkness within them during the circle of time, choosing to still be hidden and not revealed as the shadow controllers over this world. They grasp by the fistfuls what they can in the material world of chaos, hunting and chasing after the power that they desire, the lesser things in the water of chaos as they lie in wait, lurking, waiting to ambush in order to create more chaos. But in their arrogance, they cannot see that they are really just small and insignificant as unimportant. They are diminishing in their rule. Their payment will be death. They will come to an end as they perish and will cease to rule and lead. They have drunk their wine and drained it. It has been decided, fully determined, that there will be an interruption from the rule. It has been settled and the sentence has been rendered. Their wound is that they have been severed from their power. They will cease to lead and will be removed as their leadership has come to an end and they will cease to be. The blood that is on them will be over them. It is what has marked them on the threshold of their temples. It is not of the covenant of promise, but that of destruction as they have been pierced through by their own works in the fallen material world. Since they only grasped the power that was offered in the fallen world using the power of the fallen languages, their craft and guile, they have worshiped that which is false, idolatry that is useless and deceptive. Everything that they have done has led to their own destruction. Their speeches are full of emptiness as they spew lies using deceptive words, falsehoods 
that were destructed. In the end, their own words will be revealed and they will see that that is what has led to their room, as everything in their fallen flesh was all done in vain and was completely and utterly useless. As I have seen this, those who have grasped the power of this fallen world, as the bride preparing for my wedding day where I will become the wife, it is them that I shall stay away from and not have anything to do with, as they are deceitful and will plan to lead me and others to our room. It has been written. I am of the tribesmen, that of Israel, a people group who are of the just and upright, who have prevailed in our wrestle within this world. I have seen the ways of the fallen flesh as I partook of the living water. I choose not the power of this world, but that which I grasped that is not of this world. It is spiritual food that I eat and quench my thirst with spiritual drink, as this has taught me to master my emotions, knowing that they have been not only my inward authority, but also my teacher. I have chosen the path that has illuminated my way, seeing those who hide and conceal themselves in the shadow, as they are no longer hidden to me. And as a master over myself, they will no longer control and manipulate me. I choose not to follow a crowd any longer, as I am my own leader forging my own path, released from the controllers of this world, as I now overstand it. Shalom, shalom. Amen.